Ahoy there folks, I'm Captain Benzi and welcome back to another video for EVE Online. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the Winter Nexus event that is coming to New Eden on the 5th of December. Crimson Harvest has just about ended at this point, and a lot of folks seemed to really enjoy my little breakdown of what was coming in the Crimson Harvest, so we're doing it again for the Winter Nexus, right? I'm not a huge fan of Christmas in real life, to be honest. It's not that I dislike the festival, I just... I don't know, there's just something about Christmas that maybe it's just me being that typical controversial kind of naysayer, but it all feels very capitalistic these days, right? It feels processed and packaged and I don't know. I think the Hallmark Christmas movie idea of it's all about family coming together and love and peace and prosperity, that's kind of been lost these days under cheap tawdry decorations and bloody Mariah singing the same song at every shop you go into. You know the song, we're not talking about it, it's awful, I hate it, you hate it, we all hate it. But hey, Christmas can be fun, especially when we get to blow up ships and fly around in space, right? So we're going to talk about the Winter Nexus, what this is, what it means going forward, and why I'm actually quite excited for it. If you enjoyed this video, usual stuff out of the way first, please hit like, drop a comment down below letting me know your thoughts. It does really, really help me out. If you want to go the extra mile to help support financially, I've got a Patreon page, a PayPal tip jar, and a Redbubble merchandise store. I'm also going to be moving to a new merchandise store soon with some new designs. I know I keep saying it, but it is coming, I promise. It's just hard with real life because I now have an interview for an actual real life job as well which I'm very, very excited about. I'm still going to have time to do my YouTube because it's shift-based work. Oh, I'm so excited, but that's a different video for a different time. Or come talk to me on Discord where we can discuss all of that. Anyway, so the Winter Nexus. Wintry caps your lears, ho, ho, ho. We have bid Crimson Harvest a fond farewell, or in the case of most of the High Second Nullsec Care Bears, a not so fond farewell. So long, hopefully the 90% drop rate won't come back till next year, they say. Personally, I loved it. I would love to actually do a Crimson Harvest video where I talk about what I loved about this event, what I didn't like about it so much. So drop a comment if you'd like to see that topic covered in a video. Anyway, now it's time to start getting ready for snowstorms and festive challenges. Challenges. And that's not even to talk about EVE Online, that's just real life, right? Winter Nexus comes to New Eden on 5th of December and brings with it the Yule Festival with its traditional gifts, games and glory. Now, brief aside here, Yule Festival, obviously the way it's spelt here is named after a system in game where Concord and the Four Empires came together and set out what are known as the Yule Accords. It's basically the Yule Festival is celebrating when the Four Empires and Concord came together to write ostensibly peace treaties and thus ushered into New Eden the first age of peace, in inverted commas, as peaceful as New Eden has ever been recently. So that's what we're celebrating with the Yule Festival. Obviously as well, it may be spelt Y-O-I-U-L in game, but obviously it's also based around Y-U-L-E, which is Yule, which is a pagan festival, which Christmas has completely and utterly usurped because the uh, first settlers into Europe, the first Christian settlers into Europe kind of looked at all these people dancing naked around trees, um, and doing all of these other sort of paganistic things and said, well, we don't like the fact that you're doing that, but if you're willing to pretend that it's for Jesus, our saviour, we'll let you continue doing it. That's why we have Christmas trees and Yuletide logs and all of these other things that are nothing to do with the birth of Jesus Christ. Wonderful part of religions colliding and creating an entire new culture. Before anyone flames me in the comment section down below, I'm not saying anything positive or negative against either of those. I genuinely, from an anthro anthropomorphological standpoint, woo, there's a word. From that kind of standpoint, I actually find that kind of thing fascinating, how society evolves around. Anyway, we are going way off topic. So yeah, Yuletide Festival is here with its traditional gifts, games, and glory. Multiple snowy metaliminal storms will travel around the cluster, turning New Eden into a winter wonderland with Yule challenges that allow pilots to earn sensational rewards. Awesome! Always happy with that, right? Cool new storms coming, new content that with new rewards. So we'll find out what that is in a moment. Fight, hack, mine, and conquer the storm. The storms will feature Sansha combat sites designed for players flying battle cruisers, presumably Sansha. I don't know the lore behind this when it comes to um, this particular event, but 
presumably Sancha because the other four empires, the other four pirates are ostensibly based on one of the factions. So you would assume that the Angel Cartel are actually kind of interested in the fact that the Minmatar Republic did sign the Yule Accords, as are the Blood Raiders, Gurustus and Serpentis, who are attached to one of the four main empires. Sancha, on the other hand, kind of exists outside of the four empires. They are their own thing and they are the ephemeral bad guy, the, 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 the typical big bad guy um, in EVE, really. They are the... the Oh, this is going to get me flamed in the comments, isn't it? But they're probably the closest thing to an actual ostensible alien threat that exists in EVE. I know some people are going to say Trig Labs, but Trig Labs you can also kind of side with. I don't know. It's, I kind of get that they're the big bad, is my point. Um, so we're going to be... So Sancho Combat Sites, designed for players flying battle cruisers, battleships, or heavy assault cruisers. Huzzah! More reasons to fly a hack, baby! Sancho Exploration Hacking Sites. Yay, more reasons to unlock the cheetah. And a special Yule Resource Site, where ore has to be harvested, then transported and turned into a friendly NPC close by to complete the site. Nice. Completing these challenges will get pilots some nice rewards in the forms of skins and lucrative loot drops. In addition, special buff effects will improve thermal resistances and allow players to overheat modules longer within the storm system. Of course, they're snowstorms, right? So of course you need better thermal resistance when you are in a snowstorm. It's all about like the thermal, right? Oh, that's brilliant. And overheating modules makes sense because well, actually, no, it doesn't make sense because space is absolute zero anyway, pretty much for the most part, unless you're flying through certain storms or clouds or things like that. So this actually being colder than space makes no actual scientific um, sense whatsoever. You don't get anything that is colder than the absolute vacuum of deep dark space. But hey, we're, we're going to have it with a snowstorm. It's, it's fitting. It's fun. Let's not focus too much on the science here, right? It's just fun. And I love it. I genuinely love it. Take flight every day for untold riches. Every day that pilots take on the winter storms brings its own challenges and rewards. Take flight every day of the winter nexus and receive wonderful treats such as festive skins, fireworks, yay, more hugs, filaments as well as 125,000 SP for alphas and 525,000 skill points for omegas. So if you are alpha and omega, well, if you are omega, you'll get both of those. That gives you a whopping 650,000 skill points during this event. These new skins are from the Aurora Universalis line and include blue, uh, incu where, wow, I cannot speak, will include beautiful styles for a frigate, destroyer, cruiser, and carrier for each empire. Now, as someone who flies primarily frigates, destroyers, and cruisers, that's pretty cool. And it's gonna be one of each for the main empire. So I imagine, I, I'm not even gonna guess. I like the Aurora Universalis skins. They have these cool effects down the side of them. That's really pretty. Having these come back, I'm excited about. And getting Frigates, Cruiser, and Destroyer skins, very nice. Carrier, yeah, not so much, but I have skilled into carriers recently, so who knows? Maybe I'll get one for the Hell or the Nidhogger. In addition to a skin for the Nesta, the Stormbringer, and the Bar Guest. Cool, I fly a Nesta and Stormbringer, and I've got the skills for a Bar Guest, so I can do that too. Make sure you take flight every day during Winter Nexus so you don't miss out on any of the rewards. It runs from the 5th of December to 4th of January, so you've got a bit of time to prepare for this one. Until then, there will be no shortage of intrigue and activity to keep you busy, though, as E's new expansion, Havoc, arrives next week with a ton of great content. Yeah, we need to go over that, don't we? It's fair to say that New Eden will be buzzing with action until Winter Nexus and beyond. Yeah, absolutely agreed. Havoc looks fantastic. There is so much exciting stuff coming there. Then, just as you're all beginning to sort of settle into Havoc, the Winter Nexus is going to hit right the way through to the 4th of January. That's awesome. Very excited about this. They also add on to the bottom here, Crimson Harvest was terrifyingly terrific. The scariest time of year is officially behind us. Yeah, <laughs> your 90% drop rate. And this year's Crimson Harvest was as bloody and energetic as ever. Pilots all over New Eden made their presence known by blowing things up, exploring, mining, and hacking, and generally causing mayhem and bloodshed. Crimson Harvest saw some fun moments, like when Chaos 1298 took on the Order of Tetramon and many others, and there's some cool little videos here to check out by some of the other EVE Online content creators and partners. I'm not featured, but ah, you're watching me anyway, so that's awesome, right? Winter Nexus is shaping up to be even more fun, so get ready to brave the storms. I'm genuinely really quite excited about this. Reason to go and fight Sancha, pretty cool. I'm enjoying that. Heavy assault cruisers, yeah boys. More reasons to undock a hack. Happy, happy days. Probably hack. Tech one battle cruisers will do nicely and tech one battleships will do nicely as well. Like we saw a lot of people using praxises, praxis, praxises, 
It should be practices. When you pluralize something that is not an English word in the English language, you are actually supposed to use the English pluralization, which is why it is correct to say uh, octopuses, not octopi, which would actually be wrong anyway, because pi, pi, you know, pluralizing with an I is Latin, and octopus comes from Greek, so the actual plural there should be octopodes. But no, in English, you do actually still use the English thing, so it should be octopuses, viruses, cactuses, so on. Praxises, lots of people using, God, I keep diverting, I'm tangenting like fractals here. Um, lots of people using things like Praxises, uh, Drakes, that kind of thing. Heavy Assault Cruisers, in my opinion, are probably some of the best ships in the game right now, so more reason to undock a Vagabond. Always good for me. I will do a video showcasing how this all works once we get round to it at the start of December. I'll also talk about the skins, we'll talk about the new stuff going on there. Remember, as a partner, uh, a content creator partner program member, what, however the hell you want to refer to that, I do get a giveaway each month where I am currently choosing to give away 10 of the weekend packs, 50 plex and 3 days of Omega. Now, if you are lucky enough to win one of those video, uh, the giveaway's not in this video, it'll be in a future video, um, but if you are lucky enough to win one of those, activate it at the end of that daily login reward track because every day that you logged in, you'll also get the Omega. So if you do Alpha the entire way through and then on the last day you activate your weekend Omega pack, you get your three days of Omega, all of the previous login rewards that you got the Alpha stuff for, you'll now get the Omega too. So stay tuned, make sure you're watching my videos so that you're in chance of winning one of those 10 weekend packs to get yourself that Omega, that Plex, and thus unlock the entire Alpha track, uh, the Omega track, sorry, of the daily login rewards. I'm excited. Are you excited? Let me know in the comment section down below. Otherwise, folks, thank you for watching this one right the way through to the end. Happy sailing and see you in New Eden.